Good morning, afternoon or evening. Have you ever looked at the wonderful maps in Zero AD and thought, I wish my country, city, continent, or whatever, were available to fight on? Well, you should wonder no more, because the answer is, it can be, and you can be the one to make it. So let's learn how. First up then, it is deceptively easy to make a map, but a little more difficult to get it incorporated into the main game where other people can play it. So you may not even be aware, but actually if you've downloaded Zero AD, then you've also downloaded the Atlas Map Editor, so you've actually got everything you need to create a map. But for our purposes of creating a realistic landscape of a country, city, continent, whatever that you know, you're also going to need some image editing software. Now, I use GIMP, which is open source and thus free, although I'm sure some of you are like multimillionaires and therefore you're going to have Photoshop or something similar. So just now to reassure you as well, to create a basic map will require absolutely no coding whatsoever. That is right. Zero coding. That said, the one that we're going to make will require a tiny amount of editing to the final XML file, but I'm so good to you that I'll tell you what to copy and where to paste it. So with your appetite surely whetted, let's shoot right into the process. Right, so we may as well begin. It's going to be quite hands-on, so let's get into it. So first you're going to need to find your topographic map of your city. So let's just go to topographic-map.com and lo and behold, maps of uh, the world. Um, it wants to translate into German. I don't want it to do that. So what we're going to do is search for a place. So how about Lisbon, um, which is a place very dear to my heart. Um, so we can get that. This is the, the Lisbon area. You can see there's the Taiju and uh, this is Dubal and here's Lisbon. So we'll get that there. So I'm going to make it slightly bigger or sorry, smaller than I actually want. So that way we can incorporate, um, can try and cut out as much of the kind of watermarks and things like that, because the way that we're going to have to get this is to use the snipping tool. So I'm going to do a snip and we'll take it from there. So it's going to cover a little bit more than uh, just Lisbon. And there we go. So and then there's our snip. I'm just going to save that. So I'll save that into my making your own maps folder. So let's call this Lisboa. And that is stage one done. So now we're inside our photo editing software with our map loaded up. So you're going to get this eclipse tool. Make sure it's set to fixed aspect ratio because we want it to be a perfect circle. We don't want um, an oblong or anything. And the bit inside the circle, as you see here, that's where our map is actually going to be. So you can see we've got a nice bit of uh, land. Uh, sorry, that's not land at all. Is it that sea? We've got the Teju. We've got uh, Pont Avril 25, so we might want to put that into the um, map. But anyway, let's select that and now let's just crop to that selection. And now we've got a perfectly square map and the bit that's in the circle there, that's going to be what we can fight on. So we're just going to select none. That's very important. Don't forget that you want to select none. And we're going to change the mode. So in image, you can change the mode to grayscale. So now we have a grayscale map. And with then, because it's quite harsh edges at the moment, the thing won't like that. So let's put a blur on it. And you want to set the size to somewhere between five and eight. That looks a little bit too much for me. So here we go. This will this will give us a decent thing. So you can see the difference there. We've lost all the words, which is important. And that is now our map. So the darker bits are going to be lower and the lighter bits are going to be um, higher on the map. The issue that you'll find is that if you have a, a map with mountains on it, there's going to be these bits that were red. They actually come out darker um, than the land. So you'll need to edit those. Um, that in itself is, uh, yeah, it's quite uh, difficult. But what we'll do then is we're going to change the brightness and the contrast. We're going to bring it all down a bit um, because the lighter it is, the higher the sea level is as far as it's concerned. And so we're going to keep the the low level at its lowest, but we're going to pull down the highest level to remove some of the peaks. In this case, there aren't that, actually that many peaks. So let's just do like that. And what I'm going to do to try and get these to be mountainous is this. Oh, that doesn't work very well. I really just want these bits. Let's select none. Um, yeah, it's going to be tricky, but I'll tidy this up a little bit 
just to make these bits the I'll just select it again so these bits here this basically bit try and get that to be um, a little bit lighter than the other because it's actually higher and keep the rest of it as it is and we'll start making our map okay so I've now done what I said I would so you can see this area around here is actually a little bit lighter now rather than being a bit darker uh, we're not going to go into Atlas just yet because I've remembered that the key thing we need to do is actually resize this to make sure that it fits the right number of pixels for a map so I want this to be a small map so that means I'm going to resize the image uh, which is around here somewhere scale image and I want to make it 192 by 192 pixels so that's the size for a small map if you want a medium it's going to be 256 by 256 if you want tiny it's going to be 128 by 128 so um, those are the numbers and they go up in those increments into large and giant and so on so um, 512 would be large and I suppose uh, 1028 would be uh, 1024 sorry would be uh, giant but once that's there we just want to export that I have called it Lisboa height map PNG you do need to keep it to PNG and we're ready to edit this map now so let's go in and do it so now we're in the game so this is the actually it's a really simple part so we're going to the scenario editor it will pop up it'll pop up on the wrong screen but i'll drag it across and you'll see it just gives you a normal flat map uh, which is a tiny size but what we're going to do import the height map we'll go and get that lisboa map that we made and lo and behold this is what it looks like um at the moment it's not got any water so what you yeah let's have a quick look at the resize map so you can see it's set to small but if it was tiny it would be cutting a bit off and these are the different sizes that you've got so it's perfectly set for small which is what I wanted and then I am going to go to the environment thing and just change the water height to fill in that thing so at the moment it's set to zero so you can see you gradually increase it and oh I'll just stop uh, there and that now you can uh, use the same keyboard shortcuts and everything that you would have otherwise used that is the the map uh, fundamentally what you'll need to bear in mind though is that it's now it's a little bit kind of jagged uh, it's not particularly smooth and that means that you might not you can really notice it here like lots of little bits like ridges and things because it's not smooth you might find you can't actually use a lot of the stuff to build on so first thing that I want to do is smoothen these lines out so you can change the size of the tool and the strength of it there so you can see this at the moment it's looking at um, about four pixels square but in a circle and so if I change that to 20 for instance now we're going to be covering a larger area and look at how smooth that's become lovely so now that smooth down area I'm literally just uh, you hold down the left mouse button to do it and you just hover over it drag that over there and lo and behold all those bits which were kind of jaggedy like I said and would have caused problems they now are gone and we have our map of Lisbon and Setubal. Um so yeah that's that's really it um, what I'm going to do now is put some textures on it so I will uh, go and look at the map uh, add some different textures you can see they're here so you can paint you can replace you can fill um, I just use um, paint to be honest I'll see you again once I've done a little bit with our yeah our map turned it into something nice So we have our map and what we're just going to do now is add basically very, very simple stuff, just some starting points. So you just need to know a few um, key things. So you've got a choice, a list of things you can search for here. So let's say Civic Centre. Weirdly, um, everything is called something slightly different than you would expect. So it's Civil Centre. You need to say that you want it for player one, for instance. Uh, which reminds me we also need to set up this map to be a two-player map so you click on the player settings change that to two and now we've only got two player maps ignore the civilization thing that is a bug that doesn't work so we're going to have to get that um, working later but now that we've only got two players you'll see this has become one and two so let's put player one civic center um, in Lisboa so um, that will do 
uh, and it's a default civic center make sure you pick the default one not the one for a specific faction and this one i want to spin it around so as you hold it exactly as you would um, with uh, placing a building in the game you just hold down and scroll and so there you go so we've now got player one and player two civic centers in there um, you also want the default um, so just type default we're going to want the default cavalry and everything so you start with the default cavalryman there he is um, two default melee infantry to default range infantry and four citizen uh, citizens so i mean i can show you in there oh gone a bit deep but there they are again make sure you pick the default ones not the ones that are for a specific um faction because that can cause uh, a few issues um so we'll go to player one and do the same for them it doesn't really matter exactly where these go just around the civic center so there's your four you want your range infantry you want your melee infantry you want your cavalry um you'll also want the uh ooh, let's search for skirmish you want the other thing that's like the elephant uh, which will be around here special starting unit so that is an elephant for the um, uh, for the Morians, but for the um, Britons, you'll get a dog and so on. Again, keep making sure that you select player one or player two at the right time. These are actually put, I don't like how I've laid them out, so let's just move those around a bit. Um, but they're basically there. You'll also want to put some starting food, so some berries, chickens. Um, and in order to do that, we're going to make sure we stay in entities. The difference here just to say if you go into actors you are going into things that you cannot interact with so all everything else is available there but you can't do stuff with it which is really annoying so ignore that so let's just type in berry they've so got berry 01 we want these to be gaia not set as the thing so here's the berries as you can see so let's um, put five berries around the civic center there and this one will also want five berries You've got to be fair about things and then we'll also put um some chickens uh, so let's put a handful of chickens six will do i actually don't know how many um chickens you normally start with it just they just seem to be some so so there's the chickens you also want to start with um some metal which is down as ore if you type metal then you get the um, treasure so that's a strange thing so there's starting metal for them starting metal uh, for these guys and you can start to see where the the angles cause problems so that's not it and the stone is called rock again really uh, a bit like, uh, counterintuitive you're going to find that you don't get what you expect so that's basically everyone's starting point going up. If we want to see how that works, you can actually just go a simulation test. So here we go. We're in play. And it is playing. Ignore those errors coming up. Um, and here's me. I'm playing so I can wander around. I can try and start to build things so you can see. Oh, is there is there nowhere to build things? Make sure that things are passable. Let's say, for instance, this. Can you actually get down off this Um rocky outcrop because sometimes it's too high and this angle is too steep and actually you end up just creating a tiny place so it is worth messing around with this just checking that you can actually cross all the things and that you can do what you want like can we get down here is there a way let's get the cavalryman to go and find out and once you've checked that everything works as you want then add some resources add some trees and, and you're good to go so we're down to our last two steps in this one we are going to make the thumbnail now the first thing we need to do is reference the thumbnail so i'm going to call it lisboa preview.png all um lower caps i've put a little description in and i've called it lisboa and put uh, in brackets two for two player so um, all the skirmish maps do have how many players they're for so it's worth doing that if you only want two players then put two and this is a map of the beautiful city of light um and i might add a bit more including a crossing to setubal and you can put various other things like that but you can play around with that um yourself so i'll just save those um 
as I've probably explained, the civilization thing we're going to deal with later, but right now let's get this lined up nicely so I want a good image of it in the window. And then, thank you to the developers, we now have miscellaneous hacks, screenshot, done. That will pop up, there we go, and it's called screenshot 0015. So I'm in my screenshots, screenshot 0015, there it is. Right, this needs to be now set to have um, four, to be 400 pixels wide. So we'll resize it, so it's 400 by 237. Then I want to create my thumbnail thing, which has got to be 512 square. Um, so I'll make that completely black. So there's that, I'm gonna now copy my image there and I'll paste it here as a new layer and just drag it into the top left. So uh, there it is, it's a little bit high, but that one's done. And then I just want to export it and I'm going to export it into this folder, which I will uh, write out for you. And I'm going to call it lishboapreview.png. And I've already got one there, but I'm going to replace it. And that's basically it. Let's now go and say, uh, make a few changes to the XML file, which we need to do in order to make sure that we can select civilizations. And other than that, we're pretty much done. So the changes that we're going to make to the XML file, we need to go into our area. If you're in Windows, it'll be in My Game Zero AD. So then we go into Mods, uh, we go into User, which you might not expect. Then Maps, the art thing there is the file where you get, um, you put the thumbnail that we just did. Um, remember it was a skirmish map and it was called Lishbar. We don't want to worry about the PMP file. We're going to edit the XML document. So I'm just going to open that with Notepad. That should now pop up. And what I want to do here is change these things. So that is changing. Oh dear. Let's just get rid of that. So that shows that we've got two players, basically. There we are. So why don't we go and play our game and see what it looks like. And so we reach the most exciting part, which is trying out our map. So here we have them, Tom Zero AD. I'll be playing as a Petrobot on Lisboa map too. I've got my little description here and there's my preview. Let's go and see what it plays like. Oh, excitement. So I've managed to draw the Iberians. Why don't we get our women to go and collect some things and the men can go over and see where these trees are that, um, oh, I didn't save the trees in the end. Well, there you go. This is, this is the map we can come down here anyway, and we'll see where the crossing is. Maybe we'll get into a fight with the enemy, who knows. But this is it. So plenty of space to build stuff. Nice little crossing point coming up. Here we go, you can see it turns into a nice uh, like tile uh, motif. And that's it. Other than that, I will say to you, as always, Obrigado e Adeus.